of Conquest Season 2, Caesar's Legacy. We're back with the new Emperor, Emperor Jainar of the Empire of New Valyria. Last episode, I believe Emperor Caesarian finally, finally bit the dust, and we held the official funeral and everything for the late Emperor. And Jainar has ascended to the throne of the Empire, and overall, uh... Well, I was going to say, the transition has so far been relatively smooth. There hasn't been any great civil wars. We haven't lost contact with any places, nah, at least that I know of. I think, for, I think for example, Ashai is in the middle of a... Uh, well, they're, they're all waging individual wars, and as we know, the Mega War feature kind of gets screwed up when, when you're... Um, when your vassals start waging independent wars. But overall, the Empire is still relatively intact. Um, we can see the Council is actually still discontent. And we really can't change any of our focus. Well, we can't change our focus for the next five years. So, essentially, what my goal is, is to, we're going to do a little bit of reigning, a bit, little bit of ruling. We're going to keep things relatively calm for the moment. Just manage the Empire. We want the Council to... to we, we want them to become content again. Before we come up with... Well... Before we resume with uh, Caesar's Caesar's plan, Caesar's plan was to, was essentially to install dragon lords all across the world, which we have generally done in Westeros. Unfortunately, House Targaryen doesn't have as many people as we need to give titles out completely, so we ended up having to give titles to some Baratheons. We can see here in the Iron Isles and still down in the Stormlands, which we also know includes a lot of the Crown Lands, but also House of Valerion now has been granted uh, the, <laughs> the the Veil. Even though they are dishonorable and tyrannical. Mm. Essentially, anyone that... Why is Harrenhal is... Uh, you're surely... Ooh. Why is Harrenhal a direct vassal of ours? We do not... I don't see an incumbent... I don't see an incumbent ruler for the Riverlands. Hmm. Your Imperial Majesty, I humbly ask that you interview on behalf against the aggression of Lord Gakka Mahabar. Mahabar. Is that your vassal? I will order him to stand down, so that peace may return to the Empire. Ooh. My prisoner, Daenerys Galenkis. Hmm, Daenerys. Of House Galenkis, you're High Valyrian. Hmm. Let's see, humiliate, sell into slavery, we could. Can we recruit her? Probably not. Um, could we potentially take her as a concubine? I don't know if that... I don't know if we're allowed to do that. Valyrian men can take up to three wives, unless they're allowed to have concubines. Okay, so we can't. We can't. Unfortunate, because, you know, it, normally the little concubine tab would be down here, where secondary wives are, and naturally the game can't have both of them present. Um, hmm. Where are you guys located at High Garden? Would you be willing to come for an invite? Yes, but unfortunately, we can't seduce. Well, actually, it doesn't even matter because uh, because Jainar here doesn't really fancy the women. Let's go ahead, actually, and we'll be merciful, and then we're going to release her. I don't really remember why she was imprisoned. Your Imperial Majesty, many of your faithful subjects, myself included, feel that Lord Raymond Peak has amassed too much power. Let's see. Lordship of Torrent Peak, Lordship of Starpike. He is dishonorable. And he does hate us. Everyone hates Jainar because of the their opinions of Caesar, pretty much. So, there's a fine line. There's a fine line. And that's another reason why we kind of have to be careful with managing the realm. Because there's a lot of people that do not like us. And we can see there's actually an enormous faction growing for independence. Lorath, Ibn, Mir, Norvos, Karth... Yunkai. So there's a very large growing faction in the east. Commendable initiative. I will issue the command. Alright. Lord Eldon of Rook's Rest. I don't know why you're here. However, you really don't like us. I don't trust him. How many prisoners do we have? We probably have quite a, quite a few, don't we? Il Holy shit, we do. Ooh. Imperial Majesty, I assume this is yet another poor attempt at humor. I shan't surrender that which is rightfully mine, no matter who demands it, by the gods, the insolence. I can surely throw him in the dungeons for that. Can I not? No, I can't. Who are you at war with? Uh, Lord Paramount John, Prince Jaehaerys the Bewitched, Lord Morel the Mountain that Rides. Uh-oh. Jaehaerys is apparently being overthrown. Okay, we have to do something about that. Is declared Stormliner Cockles went to your war over Blackheart. Okay, that's fine. Can we aid you in your war? Offer to join war, claim the reach. No, we can't. 
Um, who is it that... It's Lord... Okay, Lord Morel is actually in our dungeon. So, you would think... Let's see. You would think... It's 100% in favor of Lord Morel, even though Lord Morel's in dungeon right now. Is it for his claim? No, it's war for Lord Morel. What if we just murdered him? What if we just killed him? If we execute him? Well, we have the right of way to do so. Or we can just banish him to the Night's Watch. I don't know, maybe this will help us, but probably not. Can we transfer him to anybody? No, we can't. Well, I don't see any other way to prevent this war from uh, uh, overthrowing a fellow Targaryen in the Reach, so I think we're just going to have to kill him. Have him beheaded. All right, did that end the war? It doesn't seem to have ended the war. Um, actually, I think it did. It ended the war. Excellent. Everything goes according to plan. Excellent. Are the Tarleys still marching? Well, they probably are, aren't they? Alright, and he hates us because we executed his kinsman. Your kinsman was a traitor. He was a traitor. Um, secondary wives, he's in pr uh, or got in prison by somebody. Who else are you at war with? We just we, we just saved the Reach there. Um, you're also at war for Maris' claim on the Reach. Lady Eldrine. Okay, command to end war. Do it. She will obey. And I think we've just saved the Reach. Excellent. Now, Lord John. Lord John, you've declared war. At least, at least, I thought you declared war. Um, I thought you did. Excellent. Prince Rhaegar of New Valyria, the Lord Paramount of the Trident, seeks to fabricate a claim on the High Lordship of Harrenhal. I actually agree with that move because the Harrenhal should be a vassal of uh, the Trident. I really wish, Rhaegar, I really wish you didn't have territory over here in Essos. I wish you would rule back over here in the Trident. Um, he's considering an end plot from us. Yes, I want to give him a vassal. Oh, you know what? Actually, our auto stop plots is gonna um, actually prevent him from being able to, to scheme to get that uh, to get that claim. Sorry about that, Rhaegar. We're actually gonna transfer a vassal to you, and we're gonna give you. Where's Harrenhal? There he is. Go ahead and grant him Harrenhal. Beautiful. Is there anywhere else that needs to be transferred? Okay, our nephew rules over uh, old stones. He's but a baby. I think maybe it would be wise to transfer him to Rhaegar as well. I know there is a faction where someone, they're, they're, they're scheming to put Rhaegar on the throne for uh, the Empire, but I'm not too concerned. We do ride a dragon, do we not? Do we not? We ride snow. And I think one of our wives actually rides Balerion the Black Dread. To my to my, to my my liege, the humble dragon lord Jainar, it has not escaped me that several of your commandas lack formal training. He'd be willing to train them in uh, for a favor. Go ahead and do that. Um, anyways, Rhaegar, I want to transfer to you, if the game will let me. Uh, Maka, our nephew. Excellent. Excellent. So now he rules over the, the, the trident, mostly. Mostly. I really wish he would give up his lands in Essos, though. Wish he would. Then we also have a... Uh, uh, well, I mean, we also have an associate Valyrian. We, we have a dragon rider in uh, in the Stepstones. Um, uh-oh. What is this? Aeronos uh, native revolt has been declared. The colony in Sarmel has long had a troubled relationship with the Roynor natives. They claim the rightful lands are being unjustly seized. The taxes levied upon them unfair. They now rise in rebellion to determined to destroy the fragile colony. Oh, there's a little colony here. Well, you guys better defend it because I'm not going to bother with that. I mean, I would like to see all the Roynar reestablished, but uh, right now we got more important things to worry about. We need to rebuild the treasury. We need to keep everything stable. Perhaps you could help me to increase Empress Rhaenyra's opinion of us. Um, let's not spend any money right now. Is she the one that rides Balerion? She does. Excellent. Excellent. My my goal was to seduce our wives, but Jainar, again, is not really interested in that. Arrange a marriage. I think not. Not going to happen. Not going to happen. Apparently, everybody wants to marry Daenerys here. Um, are there any Targaryens we can marry her to? No. Um, how about betrothals? No. Again, no. No, 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 no. But yes, you're right. There are attractive, attractive females here that we need to marry them off to. Um, okay... We could marry her to Agar, Lord Paramount of Lys. I like that idea. Um, uh, Lord Paramount of Lys. Do you have a lot? You have no wives. Oh, because he just came of age. He's also wounded. He also doesn't doesn't really know how to fight. He has a dragon egg, though. Our half-sister is married to Rhaegar. Okay, that's fine. 
Um, I believe that uh, Lord Elden Errol... Well, Lord Elden is no longer a lord. He's been deposed, his lands seized. I will accept your payment for his release, though. Excellent. The Imperial Majesty, the Colony of Tarmel is under siege. I really don't care. Really don't care. Now then, have you accepted? Ooh, I write on behalf of the bank to express the consternation of the actions of your bannerman, Lord Donald Luck. We will issue a reprimand. He shall be reprimanded. Now, are you accepting this proposal? Ozark, uh, Oza Ozark of the Harpy. We're at a state of war now. Interesting. Dear uncle, I accept your suggestion. Um, Lord Paramount Agor, I have more suggestions for you. I would like to... Hold on, hold on. Your sister. Invite her, please. Um, and she's married to Lord Maylie's Snow. Is he another bastard on the wall? Probably. No, he's not, actually. He's not. Uh, that is... That is A-OK. -okay. But we're gonna get Agor to marry, uh, Daenerys here and her sister, Laysa. Lay... Laysa. Okay. Um, apparently we're at war now. Who are we at war with? Ozark, leader of the Harpy Uprising. Are they a very large uprising? I don't know. I don't think they are, actually. Interesting. All right, lots of allies. Lots of allies. That's good. All right. The Craven. Nah, I don't, I don't care about that. I think this rebellion might already be over with once this battle is won. No, it's not. Where is this guy? Oh, nope, it's over. Well, he, well, he, I mean, he decided to rebel with only 84 men. What did, he, what did he expect was going to happen? Let's go ahead and, who's he been imprisoned by? Imprisoned by Emperor Janar. Can we execute him? Or is he immune to hostile actions? Okay, that's cute. Immune to hostile actions. That's nice. To the righteous warrior, Janar. Excellent. Lisa has joined our court, and we will send her, send her to you. Um, he is our nephew. Excellent. Nephew, I choose you. You will marry Lisa. You will marry both of them. They are sisters. It only makes sense that they would uh, marry the same. What is this? Native revolt. Now everyone's fighting for the... That, that, that rebellion is going to cause more problems. Because every time this mega war feature activates, the vassals begin to conspire to attack each other. I don't like that. It's bad for the, it's bad for the stability of the realm. We're going to execute you now. Go ahead and give him a swift hanging. There we go. The wars have ended. Okay, great. Excellent. The vassals now find you intimidating, as they should. As they should. John, what are you doing? Defending against the Sarmel native revolt? That's fine. I don't care about that. Who rules in the Westerlands now? Oh, it's, it's Caesarian, of course. And, oh, right, like, right, Lady Cersei Rain is no longer in, apparently, House Paran now rules Castamere. Right, High Lordship of Castamere. History it used to belong to Cersei the Elegant, but she died. She was assassinated and was granted to Peter the Shadow. Interesting. Out of curiosity, how many reigns are left? Six, but I believe they're unlanded now. Hmm, not good. We tried to help the reigns. We tried to help them, but they would not. They would not They would not accept it. In pretty much, I would like to politely remind you of the gold that Nublira owes my house. Um, she don't not have a single coin for me. The loan shall be canceled, and we will gain dishonor. Yeah, I mean, we're already tyrannical. People already hate us. And I really don't feel like paying money for loans that we don't have. Loan taken. Loan will be due for payment at the expiration date of the modifier. Yeah, I mean... We also need to get coronated, too. Shit. <laughs> Shit. Now, we don't have the option to repay loans down here, though. Interesting. So, if we... She'll be repaid. Okay, did that remove did that remove our loan? No, it didn't. We still have loans taken out. A loan will be due for repayment at the expiration date of the modifier, 8077. Yeah, I don't even see the option to repay it. Interesting. Enter slave trade. Yeah, slaves would be good here. We might have to do some slave raiding. Let's see. Molinaro, you're a vassal. You're a vassal in Volantis, are you not? Uh yeah. Who's your heir? Well, we could ransom him. We could ransom everybody and get a nice big chunk of coin, and then we could coronate ourselves. Because I am imagining we haven't coronated ourselves. Yeah, taking it easy. Sure. Let's ransom all prisoners, collect all that gold. Um, pay interest on behalf of our... No, issue a reprimand. Go ahead and ransom everybody. Fantastic. That's more than enough gold to, uh... Can we repay our loan now? God, that's so tricky. Normally, you can repay the loan above uh, Vassal here, but for some reason, we can't. Very, very strange. Anyways, coronation. 
begin. I express my wishes and desires for a coronation at the Temple of the Gods to Stormsinger Allard. Hopefully, he will accept my request. Well, I mean, he should. Of course, he will accept. To his most holy grace, Emperor Jainar, first of his name, in the name of the gods, I, Stormsinger Allard, would like to offer you my blessing to allow your coronation in the Great Temple of the Gods as King of the Andals, Royal the First Man, Lord of the Seven Kingdoms, and Protector of the Realm, under my god under my guidance. Do it! Lord Commander Theo, sorry to inform you, but you not be able to attend... Oh, I will not be able to attend the coronation. I have no words for this dishonor. You cancer-ridden gonorrhea fanatic. How dare you. We should have you killed. Also, how dare you have children. That is against your vows. Since he is a traitor, yes, revoke him of his status of King's God. Revoke it. And then, and then we can give it to someone who's actually worthy of being a king's guard. It's great because it actually considered him to be a traitor, so we don't get any tyranny for that. Best part about holding a feast is we will spend lavishly on the food. Excellent. I humbly accept your decision to revoke my king's guard, although it grieves me deeply. I'm sure it does. Where did he go to? At court in the Bleeding Shore. The Bleeding Shore. Jesus. Ah, the Bleeding Shore. What is this? Advanced colony. It's a colony. Yeah. Okay. That's that's nice. All right, let's go back to go back to Westeros. Prisoner out, Aaron. Oh yeah, we'll we'll be merciful, and then we're gonna kill you. Hanging, hang the peasant, hang the barbarian. Anyways, so uh, war is over now. Martha, it, Martina is an infidel, worshiping false idols and forsaking the word of the gods. What more is needed to disparage her? Infidels deserve no compassion. Are we trying to antagonize her? Apparently we are. I don't know why we're trying to antagonize her. I've, I've forgotten, in all honesty. This is beneath me. She is no one. Seeks to replace Uma as Spymaster. I don't care. Lords of the Realm has started arriving in Dragonstone for the coronation ceremony at age 42. They have been offered shelter, bread, and fine hard garden Hippocras, as is their guest right. And over the coming days, there shall be much feasting before the grand coronation. Excellent. Superb. Yes. Peace returns to the realm. And 8077 is going to be when the council is content again. Um, I would increase the timer, but I'm absolutely terrified of getting a crash here in the middle of my recording. Uh, your cousin, Lord Maylie Snow, has presented a petition requesting a commission to press sailors into the service of Balerion and the Emperor's other ship, as well as the petitioner's own barges. Interesting. Agreed, you will have your commission. Let's see, Emperor JNR pays 10 gold. But we lose 25 gold for some reason. Stormsinger of Dragonstone. This is not necessary. I don't see why this is necessary. Sailors recruited. Why? All right, great. Well, apologies. Just gonna yawn in the middle of my middle, middle of the recording. Anyway, some of my guests did not seem satisfied with the food. <gasps> this Sarah, you would dare insult us. Let's see. You're betrothed to Winton Snow. Winton Snow, Marshall. The more spiced... Okay, then we have someone who is a drunkard and a loser. Excellent. Profaning the coronation. What an insult. What an insult. Known plots, 58. We'll have to go through here and see who's plotting against us. Crowning of the king in the name of the gods. I, Jainar, the house Targaryen, the first of... The first of my name, promise, pledge, and guarantee in the sight of the gods that I will be protector and defender of the realm in all ways useful to it. However many, and so far as I'm... Blah, 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 blah. Yes, this will strengthen my rule. Great. Okay, and I got it twice for some reason. Another little bug. This is an older version of CK2. Well, uh, of CK2 and Game of Thrones. Unfortunately, I can't play uh, Caesar on the newest version of Game of Thrones. So sad, but we can't do it. All great. And our entire council has been emptied. Super! And apparently we have nothing but people who hate us. Well, we're just going to have to... I guess we're going to have to roll with that, I suppose. Um, let's get Laisa. Um, maybe we can get Empress Aurora. Ooh, Lord Paramount John. We'll put you on the council. Lord Treasurer. John, you look like someone that would be worthwhile to sway. So we're going to do that. I figure if we mix the council up between loyalists and people who hate us, we should be okay. Master of Whispers. Is there anyone better than you? Yes, Daenerys Valerian. Although she's not going to last for much longer. Um, Arine, Ar Arine Snow, however, is a genius... We need a new court physician. We're going to have you perform charity. Actually, I want you to proselytize in the capital. Convert everyone who's not of the dragon dragon gods. And we need a new court physician. And we're not going to be allowed to recruit another one. Because sometimes the game doesn't like to... It likes to take away random options of ours. 
fabricate a claim. Yeah, I just want to see if is anyone plotting to kill anyone of the royal family. I see a lot of fabricate claims. Fabricate a claim on... What is this? Kingdom of the Westerlands? Uh, I don't like that. I don't see any plots targeting anybody, anybody too close to the Emperor. But yes, we might have to do some slave raids eventually, though. And the place to go to for the end, well, the reason why we would want slave raids is because we can get fuck tons of money with that. The guilt is burning through me. Every second is pure agony mixed with shame. I have never felt so guilty, so sinful. What are you talking about? I don't understand. I use my guilt with prayer and fasting. One year of fasting, pay church to ease some of my guilt. Yeah, these these kind of vague events are kind of kind of annoying because it's just it just seems lately I've been trying to help and advance my family. I mean the fam the right, well we already have the family person trait so. All right, spending more time, we become close friends with Rhaenyra, which is great, but still kind of silly. Uh, Lord Paramount, uh, Caesarian of the Westerlands. You are married to your first sister, and he's married to his second sister? Yes, excellent. As he should be. It's a shame our first son didn't make it. He did not make it. Anyways, while you want to have the slave revolt, is, or not the slave revolt, do a slave raid. Let's see, in the capital, how many slaves do we already have? Do we have any? Um, is slavery even legal here? It is. All right, I saw an open position on the council. It's still court position. Really? We can't recruit anybody for that? Jesus. You know what? Maybe we could invite somebody. All right, don't care about that. Let's see. Search all, join court. Yes. Um, is there a maester? Or are we just not allowed to have maesters because... Because Old Town doesn't like us. That could be the case. Let's see. Try to invite you. Maybe you can become our maester. Let's see. You're a theologian. Mm, not really useful. I mean, maybe we can find... I don't know. Maybe we're just not allowed to have maesters. We're only allowed to have holy men, but no maesters. That would make sense, you know. Oh, why would Old Town want to provide us with maesters? My young son has finished his education in bookkeeping and administration. He has become a brilliant steward. He's on our council, is he not? He damn well should be. All right, let's get let's get Caesarian as our treasurer. One of your beloved wives covets the position of first wife and has been trying to woo you. Woo you. Let's see how old is Imp Empress Aurora? What dragon does she ride? She rides Aurelian. Empress Dela rides Henkerix. No, Aurora is the first. She is the first of the first wives. First and only. Champion Majesty, I will... Okay, Chalam, will you be our court physician? You will not. Damn you, sir. Damn you. All right. Go ahead and put all this shit out. Thank you. Gotta keep the... Gotta keep the realm safe. Warden of the North will be Lord Paramount Garono of the North. Of House Panimian. Warden of the East will be Alex, Lord Paramount of the Vale. Warden of the South will be Jaharis. The bewitched... Uh, the, be the bewitched whom we saved... We saved. I'm pleased to report that your errant subject, Lord Clarent of Nuns Deep, has been converted to the Valyrian faith. Praise Urax. Praise them indeed. Now then, this Lord of the Dothraki Sea. Ooh. No, we actually can't wage an anti, uh... Has demands vengeance, has opinion pillaged my lands, has the opinion declared, declared war. Embargo. We could embargo them. We could slave raid them. Coloni we can do colonization by force. Maybe colonizing the Dothraki Sea, one territory at a time, would be the way to do this. Raish Quayhat. Lord Freeholder has declared war against the tyranny of Lord Paramount Agor of Lys. How dare you? You would dare. Make war against our nephew. Oh, he tried to have him arrested. Can we join you? Probably not, right? Probably not? No. Does he need money? Because we could provide him with money. I ask that you intervene on behalf. I would love to order him to stand down. Excellent. Good. Now then, give him gold. All right, travelers bring rubles of fire and blood. They say that Genesia Kadar now rides Shraenor into battle. That's fucking great. Let's go take a look at the tablet for the tab for dragons. Dragon riders. Okay, there's a lot of dragon riders, and they're all over the place. Um, there are no untamed dragons. There are four wild dragons. We've got Limagon Greenscale. Very cool. Very cool indeed. There's Teveron. 
Slive. Cool, cool little portrait there. And Shraenor. I thought Shraenor had just been tamed. I must be wrong. And there are five dragon eggs. Good. All right, one belongs to our nephew in Lys. One belongs to Raharian of Mataris, who's over here in North Valyria. Um, Lady Daenerys of the Stormlands? Yep. Um, why is she married to a Nagai? Weird. Sometimes the AI makes really strange choices with their betrothals. But then there is Queen Lisa, our niece, who is married to our half-brother. And our kinsman, Lord Paramount Amond of Dawn, who has his own dragon egg. Kinswoman Lisa. Has he married his own daughter? <laughs> I, I, um, yes, he has. Yes, he has. I forgot. I, I, I forgot. I edited that in the game files to make that possible for the Valyrian religion. Aaron Celtigar. Oh, you're gonna have a hair lip. That's not good. Anyways, anyways, let's see if I can risk taking you know, pushing this up a notch. See if the game doesn't break from doing that. Are there more wars here in the Reach? What is going on here? You're now being attacked in Old War. In Old Town War for Winella's claim on the Reach. Oh, Jesus. Jaharis. Jaharis, you fool. Um, you know what we can do, though? You, Lord Jason the Ill Ruler, I will command you to end the war. I will, of course, obey your will. Yes. Yes, you will. I believe that one of your vassals can be discouraged from associating with conspiratorial factions. This, independ this independence faction is indeed becoming a problem. So what we're going to do... Is we're, we're going to pay him a visit on our dragon. We have to lose 40 gold. Wasn't it 10 gold before? Now it's 40? Jesus Christ. What? What? It, I mean, is this... Am, are we paying for airfare or something here? What is going on? Riding astride snow, you fly to pay Archon Balio an unannounced visit. On arrival, you land on the highest tower of Lorath. Your dragon, letting a loud roar, was quick to realize the implications of your visit, welcoming you humbly and promising eternal loyalty. Good. Good. Dismantle this faction. Although I kind of wouldn't... Actually, you know what? I mean, a part of me would like to see a, a little independent civil war. However, at the same time, Jainar is not Caesar. Caesar could win every war. But Jainar, I'm not sure if he's quite that good. Let's see. Our son is going to be... Lord. Our heir is going to be Caesarian II, who is attractive and smart. But he's a steward. We probably should make him the regent, right? Yeah, that'd be a good idea. Right. So I'm not sure if he's going to be... Wait, see, where is he? Where is our son? Not Jaharis, Alex, Agor. Where is he? Caesarian! Oh, now we have two designated regents. Great. That's exactly what I wanted. Let's get Jaharis on the on the uh, council. Let's get Alex of the Vale. Or maybe not. Maybe, okay, okay, I guess we couldn't pick him. We're going to have to pick Rhaegar instead. Is Rhaegar a loyalist? No. He's actually returning a favor to Maylee's Snow. Curious. Hmm. My half-sister, Princess Vela, has been mourning the loss of her late husband, who was Baethon Targaryen, and then it became Caesarian, so she's still mourning the loss of Caesar, and is still reluctant to get married. Perhaps I should command her to stop this and marry a match of my choosing. Let's see, her son, Verma... Okay, her son is going to rule Pentos. No, he's already ruling Pentos. Um, stop this nonsense. After a bitter and heated argument where you formally commanded her to cease her mourning, your half-sister is still refusing to outright marry. Perhaps... I will have to take drastic action. Yep, she's not going to like that. Uh, your bannerman, Lord Zalobato, has been captured by King Jaros. Yeah, that's fine. I don't care about that. I don't care. I don't care. Uh, my vassal has requested that Stormsinger Allard or Dragonstone should be sworn to him rather than me. Let me think denied. He is not your rightful vassal. Lazar, what is going on over here? These foreign wars. What are you doing? Are you suggesting... That Lazar has somehow become independent. You would dare. There's a lot of places, actually. Um, declare war, dragon conquest. Okay, so maybe some places did somehow slip outside of our control. Okay, Ashai hasn't. What about these places? Are they revolting against their current liege? How about Oxyqua? Okay, that's a ruin now. Interesting. Ruined province. What about over here? There's lots of crazy shit going on here in uh, Yeeti. But then there are these places over here. Declare, uh, yeah, okay. So I think maybe, should we wait till next year? Let's let the timer go and we'll just, we'll, we'll keep, what? okay, show me what exactly, fourth, the fourth moon 
of 8077. That's all that's well, that's almost a year away. Hmm. Your vassal, uh, Lord Paramount Caesarian, has requested that Lord Clement of Nuns Deep should be sworn to him directly. I am familiar with Nuns Deep. Nuns Deep is actually located in the Westerland, so I would be more than happy to give that to you. There we go. He's no longer Archon. All right, maybe we can have, maybe we can make Caesarian the Second Archon. Let's see. Will he even that be even be possible? We might have to kick him out of here. All right, let's transfer positions. How do we do that? Um, break betrothal, imprison, fire counselor. No, I just want to tra reassign counselor. Select a new job. He will be hand of the king. It only it only makes sense that the heir and son of the realm shall be hand of the king. And then let's get um ah well let's bring Tor back. He absolutely despises us, but that's fine. The colony in Borash has failed. No longer able to defend or feed its people. The castle and settlement now lie in ruins. What once more? Borash. Oh, right here. Okay. So apparently the AI has been doing a lot of colonization, which we haven't really been we haven't really been helping them with. But then again, I don't really care. Oversee the realm, of course. What else are you gonna do? What is this? Invite to plot to claim a c c c to fabricate a claim on the kingdom of the of the Stormlands. Uh, no, no, I think not. Lord Paramount John still resists my attempts to establish a solid relationship. A very concise letter will do. We must be friends. All right, he seemed to have a, uh, despite my attempts to solicit a clear response, he remains uneasy. Well, it's because he is, is he ambitious? No, he's not. If you were ambitious, I would, oh, what is this? Lord Paramount John of Stormlands has declared Stormlander, Veilment is your war over Driftmark on Lord Paramount Alex's, you see, Lord Paramount John is a very, is very expansionist, and I don't like that. I don't like how, I don't like a Baratheon being expansionist, especially against my other loyal vassals. So I'm actually gonna command you to end this war. Command. Fall to command. Alright, a new Lord Commander of the King's Guard is needed. Um, let's see. Sir Roland Boggs. Okay, there's also Sir Edmund Cockshaw and Theo Hollard. Wait a minute. I kicked you out of the King's Guard. You are not in the King's Guard. You lie. Show more. Sir Helman Manderley. Alright, he is young. He could be, uh... I know normally the, the the Lord Commander is, is normally aged, but if you pick someone young, then you don't have to pick the King's Guard, the King's Guard Commander all that often. So we're gonna pick Sir Helmand Manderley. In the throne room, Lord Commander Helmand Manderley kneels and takes up his vow. Excellent. A vacancy has become available on the King's Guard. Seven swords must protect the Emperor. Bring me the bring me the greatest knights of the realm. Sir Garrison. All right. Okay. I like it. Sir Osmund Grimm. Ooh, he's even better. Sir Tywald. Right. My problem with Sir Tywald and Sir Garrison is in less than 10 years, they're going to be aged. They're going to be old. Whereas Sir Osmond Grimmed is 85 years old. And he has plenty of room to improve his, his sword play. And he's, uh, he's got quite a ways to go before he's too old. We're going to knight you, sir. We're going to make you part of the King's Guard. Excellent. Let's see. Uh, many of your faithful subjects, myself included, feel that Lord Paramount John Baratheon of Stormlands has amassed more power and titles than warranted by his position. And you know what? He has been rather expansionist, which is destabilizing the realm. So what we're going to do is we're going to order him to concede his titles. Concede! <gasps> I assume this is yet, a, yet another poor attempt at humor, Lord Paramount John. He is a dragon lord, but he is really antagonizing the new emperor. You son of a bitch. You son of a bitch. Can I imprison him? No. And he wouldn't even plot to investigate legitimacy. Ooh. Uh, I mean, if this might be a rather peaceful way to take away his power. I think Lord Paramount John is actually legitimate, but what do I know? Maybe I'm wrong. Publish your evidence. Fabricate. Your investigation is not proceeding as quickly as you'd hope. Perhaps a little bit of forgery might speed things up. Of course, anyone who sees through the fake is never going to believe anything else you might have to say. Your Pure Majesty, the colony at the Isle of Whips is under siege. Um, what do you mean it's under siege? This is the Isle, no, that's the Isle of Lice. Um, the Isle of Whips is over here. Yes, and this is a colony, is it not? It's an advanced colony, and it's, oh no, our cousin. Our cousin rules here. Lord of Salak, High Admiral of New Valyria. Hmm. 
So what is going on? Why are you defending against Lord Paramount in his de jure war over the Isle of Whips? A relief force must be sent. Um, what I can try to do is I can try to do nothing. Can I imprison him? I could try. But I can't command him to end the war or anything like that. Can I command command to end the war? I'm afraid I cannot end this war. My cause is just and such you have no right. There's nothing I can do. Oh, really? Really? Is that what you think? Let's see. Medium Realm Authority are now obliged to end internal wars. We'll see about that, you fool. I, I don't know if I can tell him to end his war again, but I really want to. We'll see what happens after uh, we get this vote passed. Yes? Any, yeah, yeah, how long does a vote take? Because it's almost been like three months. What is that? Grainstone died bedridden and infirm. Well, that's unfortunate. At a meeting of small council, Lord Paramount Caesarian the Targaryen has recommended that Sir Maynard Mayat become a member of the King's God, and I actually, I'm actually inclined to agree. A fine notion. Send the invite. Excellent. So how's that vote going, going guys? Oh, has, has it passed? Are we still voting? We're still voting. Are you fucking kidding me? Let's see. What, what, what does it say? Apparently they're also assaulting the colony here. See, that's not good. That's, that's, that's really not good for the, uh, the colony to be uh, <laughs> attacked like that. So, E.T. Laws, hello. Are we still voting? How fucking long does it take to vote? I don't know what's going on. Your dragon is a ravenous beast. I shall offer them just recompense. Sure. Sure. Anyways, well, I mean, if the council is just going to vote for the next fucking year and a half, then I don't know what fucking good they are. Okay, now they fucking approve it. Thanks. Thanks. All right, now maybe, maybe now we can, uh, we can end this goddamn war, you. Nope, we can no longer command them to end their war. Let's see. Character is Lord... <laughs> All the following must not be true. Is a prisoner. Is said character. Has not recently been issued a command. Okay, well I guess I can't I can't do anything now, even though it's technically against the law. Son of a bitch. What's going on over here? Defending against Lord Ram the Cruel and Kakos went war for his claim on the Reach. Jesus Christ. Come on to end the war, you son of a bitch. Good. Good. Alrighty. Now, how's that plot? For, uh, ev Ooh, publish evidence. We need to build evidence first, I believe. And we need to continue the conquests. But again, I want the council to be... Once the council is content, then I'll probably end the episode, and the next episode we can begin preparing the invasion of some of these little territories that have somehow slipped through the cracks that Caesar did not capture. Uh, news from Volantis. I don't give a damn about that. That doesn't concern me. Larissa Gardner is currently in my captivity. Um... Okay. What? Oh, right. She's a gardener. Arana Blacktide. Allery Gardner. Right. I think these are all prisoners from Caesar's plots and plans. So, if we sell them into slavery... No, we can't do that. Release them. Release them all. We will be merciful. Where Caesar was brutal and cruel, we shall be merciful and we shall release everybody. Everybody that we can... All right, Doshiru the Lude. Who is this? I don't know who this is. Execute him. Apparently we can't. Force marriage. Call him for a trial. She's currently in our captivity, and I'm just going to mind piety while I still have the event window open. All right, he's begun to present his defense, but the court did not seem impressed. Great. And Lord Paramount Caesarian masterfully made a strong case. And he is innocent. The charge of piracy is not proven. But he is a pirate, you, you fool. You fool! You would dare be... He'll be a weak emperor. I wonder if we can just elect somebody to be the next emperor. Somebody else who's more worthy. Offer an aggression pact, grant a royal privilege? Probably not. How's the line of inheritance go? It goes Lord Paramount Caesarian, it goes Princess Liana, then our daughters, and then it goes Rhaegar. Who himself is not that great. Is Liana great? No, not really. On behalf of the Ironbreaker Bravos, um, I will issue a reprimand. Excellent. Alrighty. Ah, uh, no! Ooh, who is this? Lord Paramount Kuwar the Hunter? He already hates us. Go ahead. Do it. Lord Paramount John. You son of a bitch. Ooh. 
You've been studying Lord Paramount John for some time now, and have begun and have begun to confirm your suspicions. Digging through some old records, you found a letter, one written by Lord Paramount Amond to Lady Amanda six months before John's birth. How could Amon possibly be his real father if he was away when he was conceived? <gasps> the scandal! The scandal indeed! Where is Lord Paramount Amon the Hunter? Very suspicious indeed! Charge, evidence has been built. Publish your evidence. Now, we've actually lost the opportunity to fabricate any evidence. You've gathered, you've gathered the evidence. Time to make sure the whole realm learns the truth of Lord Paramount John's parentage. I feel like maybe we need to wait for some more evidence, but I kind of want to see if one, one piece of evidence is enough to indict somebody. So go ahead and prepare the letter. You spend all evening preparing the letter, making careful note of all the evidence you've gathered and copying it out by hand. By dawn, you're finished. Time to send the ravens. Let them all know Lord Paramount John is not a true Baratheon or a true Dragon Rider. It's done. You watch the ravens fly from your keep, delivering your letters to all the lords of the realm. Soon the whole world will know the truth. It looks like the investigation is over then. Well, here's hoping. Here's hoping, because I wanted to have some evidence and then fabricate some evidence, so we had two pieces to use against Lord Paramount John, but let's see if one is enough. Your Imperial Majesty, thank you for having me in your household, um, but I is just going to go work for Lord Paramount Agor now. And she's just a courtier, right? E yes. Have fun with that. Good. Good. Is the council almost content now? Uh, to the four 14th of the fourth moon. It's coming. It's coming. Excellent. We have ruled in relative peace. Well, not relative peace. Your investigation of Lord Paramount John is progressing well. You've collected much evidence already. Then, when observing John's siblings, you realize they share many features and that they, too, must be bastards. All of Amanda's spawn must be bastards. This could ruin House Baratheon. I, I kind of like it. Did she really cheat, though? I don't, I don't know if she actually did. But then again, we're too busy focusing on conquering the world. All right, your Imperial Majesty, blah, 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 blah. Uh, is the council content? The council is now content. And with that, we are prepared to begin invasions of the small territories. Lazar has somehow found themselves independence once again. That is a false assumption. We must see corrected. As well as uh, Samiriana and Kayakayakananaya. <laughs> okay, all right. But I think that's it. I think the rest are nomads, and we're not going to be able to do anything with. I would love to take Vos, Vos, Vase Dothrak, the city of the Horse Lords, just to put them in their place. In fact, we actually might be able to. We actually might be able to. But that, ladies and gentlemen, will have to be in the next episode. Thank you all for watching. If you enjoyed the episode, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. As always, be sure to share the video. That always helps me out a ton. I have been the Golden Joe Oblivion. This has been Emperor Jaina, the new emperor of the Empire of New Valyria. And, ne and until next time, I will see you all later.